So there's an open question about a new feature introduced in Lion, which is this local uh, backups directory uh, created by Time Machine. Uh, and a one manifestation of this is that it creates uh, a directory or a new volumes directory. So if we jump to cd slash volumes, you see there is this folder called mobile backups. Uh, and when you open it in a utility, such as uh, Disk Radar, you'll see that you have your hard disk drive, you have your mobile backups, and your time machine, uh, which is the external drive where your time machine, in my case, my time machine is located. So what the heck is this mobile backups? I mean, if it's being written locally, it's the same capacity as my hard disk drive. There's no way it could be using up all that space. I think the answer which I'm hoping to prove here live, first time, is that it's a sparse direct, uh, a disk drive. <coughs> How can I prove that? Well, let's uh, get rid of this guy, and we're going to bring up Disk Utility. Okay. In Disk Utility, it is possible to create a disk image. It's like a disk drive. We'll create a blank disk image. And we'll put it in the uh, temp directory, or wherever you like, but I'm putting it in the temp directory. And I'm going to make this um, 8 gig, well, let's make it a custom size. I'm going to make this uh, 200 gigabytes. Okay. 200 gigabytes. Right, so I can't make it because I I don't have enough disk space. I've got 358 gigabytes, 467, but this is my point. I don't have the disk space. But if I use a um, sparse disk image, let's see if I can get away with this. Let's see, I'm going to make it custom. I'm going to make that uh, 200 gigabytes. And it will allow me. It's not as though I'm getting free space here, but the way that a sparse disk image operates is that its true size is only as big as the things put into it. I'm saying it can get as large as 200 gigabytes, but whatever I put into this, it'll only really be that size. So I'm putting in this temp directory, I'll create a new folder called uh, sparse disk. We'll put it in there and this will be called my test disk drive. So it's now creating a, fa uh, a disk image that is supposed to be 200 gigs in size and again I've only got uh, 100 meg in there or you know if I truly were consuming 200 gigs in fact, that's what would, uh, I just don't have the space physically on my hard disk drive. But as you can see, it created it, and Disk Radar sees it as 190 gigs, which is, it's not 200 gigs because they take away, you know, so many gigs for the um, uh, formats, uh, formatting and so forth. Although, I don't understand why it's showing 46% <laughs> consumed, 85 gigs used. That clearly isn't the case. So I'd say that this disk radar is having a little bit of a problem. And uh, I'll send in this video to the disk uh, radar guys to have a look at this. Uh, again, the question for the disk radar guys is simply this. Uh, when it shows Mac backups as 100%, uh, this can throw some end users as to what the heck's going on. But anyway, let's uh, exit disk radar for a moment. And we'll pull up our finder. Oops, I want to. Okay, so I'll open my finder here. And we should see there's this new disk image. Um, it's interesting. It's saying 113 gig available, so it's probably only, it's smart, the finder's smart enough to say, hey, you don't really have that much space. But all I want to do is put something in this and then demonstrate to you that uh, if we look at this disk image here, which is right here, well, it's saying it's 309 megabytes, 
uh, yeah, 309 megabytes, and I'd said 200 gigs. So that's a lot of formatting going on in there. Um, but uh, we'll just put something tiny in there. Um, And uh, we'll put in a little letter to parents here. Okay, so I'm copying in a tiny little thing. I mean, it's 4K, nothing. You know, if I, I just don't want to pull in anything huge here. Uh, uh, all right. At any rate, I unmount this thing. Pull open the finder. Oops, excuse me. A new finder window. Go to temp, sparse disk, test image. We see it's 309.3. You know, if I put in two gigs, I would expect to see this grow by, uh, you know, up to two gigs in size. But remember, it's allocated for 200 gigs. Okay, so I'm now popping it back in here called disk image and it says 113 gig available because that's really physically that's all that's available in my disk drive but I think my points the, the point is uh, is simply this I only have one physical drive here and it's 500 gigs of which 113 gigs is available and yet if I open disk radar it's showing this mobile backups and saying, hey, that thing's uh, as large as my hard disk drive. So it's clearly for that local time machine backup feature, but I'm not using all that space. So disk radar is having a problem really seeing uh, what's inside that uh, sparse disk array, and I suspect that's what the, that is what's in this mobile backups. Okay, so there it is. It's, uh, I think it's a bug report, so I'll submit it as such, and uh, hope that answers your question about uh, mobile backups, what that is. All right.